Well, congratulations for the second time. First of all, to get the interim manager's job, but the interim manager's tag is now off you. You're the permanent manager at Alexandra Football Club. Your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely proud as punch. Uh, me and my family, uh, a real honour um, to be at the football club anyway, but to lead it um, is a real honour. Um, and I want to get my teeth in as quickly as I can. I know I've been around it, um, working as assistant manager and, and the interim, um, but I really want to try and kick on now and push us forward um, and get improvements in all areas, both on and off the pitch. If you were asked to describe yourself as a manager, although you haven't been in it too long as that tag as a manager, how would you, how would you respond? Um, I like to think of uh, my management uh, style. Um, I like to build relationships with people, um, obviously not going over the line in terms of uh, uh, player-manager relationships, but um, mainly uh, my management one. Um, and we've got staff around us, obviously, who can help in that area and help the training and the sessions that we want to put on. And I want to give the coaches to put on what areas I think we need to improve on. Um, but in that, in that sense, um, I'm not, not shy um, from letting the players know um, when it's not good enough. Um, I'll have Friday and I think second half was good enough and, and they knew about it. Um, so in terms of style, I like to think I'm a man manager who can get the best out of people. Obviously the board selected you as their number one candidate. You had to go through the process of being shortlisted and then interviewed to, to get that particular job. It brings a lot of continuity, doesn't it, that, you, that you're still the leader and you know all about the players and you know all about your backroom staff as well. Yeah, um, continuity is important at a football club. Um, I've got some ideas that I want to bring to the football club. Uh, like you say, I know the players, I know what we, we, we want to be working on and what areas we're looking to improve. Um, not in the future, but immediately uh, we want to see some improvements. As you were building up towards being interviewed, were you speaking to previous managers, previous players, previous coaches that you, you've worked under or played for? I've spoke to a lot of people um, over the last six weeks, a lot of people in football, some people who don't work in football but in sport in general who I've come across. Um, they give me lots of advice. Um, the, the main one I was getting is they thought I'd lead to this moment in my career. Some people thought I was going to get to this point. Uh, so it just re reinforces what I was thinking anyway. And of course, what you've got now is you coming up and looking forward. I know games are important, but January's transfer window is coming along. How important is it that you can hopefully strengthen your squad? Well, we, we we're going to get a plan together, uh, which has started already. Um, we know where we're at in terms of finances. Um, so we, we're going to put a strategy together and to see if we can improve the group. Um, that's what we want to do. Um, every time there's a transfer window, what you bring in is looking to improve the group not just competition, but we want players who are going to come in and improve it. It's been a real whirlwind 12 months in terms of where you've been in, in, in this 12 months yeah. and where, what you've been doing and what roles you've got. But you know what football supporters are like. They want instant success, unfortunately. That's the way it is yep. at the moment. What's your message, though, to, to your crew supporters? Yeah, we all want instant success, don't we? Um, what, I, what I want to do is... is um, I want to get everyone on the same page. I want us all to be going in the right direction. I want them to know that they've got a team um, on the pitch and off the pitch that are fighting for them, um, that are trying their best every day for them fans, um, supporters, to get improvements. Um, I could sense it again on Friday. Um, and I, I want them to know that we're all in it together. Us, them, staff, we're all in it together. And we, I want the club to be just as one unit and I want that to happen as quickly as possible and that comes with getting results I know that it makes everybody feel a little bit better it makes them excited to come to the games what well, I want us all to be pushing in the right direction and we'll only do that um, by putting on performances and getting results as a team I get that I understand it um, but I want success the fans want success the players want success and hopefully over time we can get that and the people who employed you the final question is what was their remit? What, what, what did you glean from them in your discussions? What they want from you? Yeah, I think that'll be for the board to, to come out with what, what the remit. I, I know what, what was said and, and where we're aiming to um, and what we've got to work with that um, in terms of changing things. Um, but I'm sure that the club will express you know, if there's, what the remit is in terms of points or whatever it may be. But I, like I say, my, my main thing is to obviously win some football matches 
And right on cue, we've got them digging the road up. <laughs> it's the winter foot match, but I want to I want to get everyone together, the fans, everybody. Um, if any fans want to have a talk, just get in touch. I'm willing to speak to anybody um, openly and honestly um, and, and just share my desire for improving the football club.